Hi, my name is Andre. Now it's the holiday season of Christmas and New Year, and my wife has asked me to cut out some snowflakes from the paper. But I'm so lazy, so I didn't want to spend a day cutting out those snowflakes. So instead I spent a week building a machine that will cut me a snowflake and some other things. And let me demonstrate you how it does it with the laser and some Lego. Safety first, I have to wear these glasses because the laser is quite powerful. And let's start with our first snowflake. Here we go. that's it we have a snowflake and I actually want to have a whole composition uh, with the Christmas New Year's uh, theme on it so I will make some more items and I will after that explain you the hardware part of machine disassembling it into major pieces that I have built and the software part of it which uses the Python library and it is controlled from the PC uh, using language Python. So the next thing to do is another snowflake and I will show you from the different point of view uh, how the laser works from the inside of the machine. Here we go, it starts. Now when I have several snowflakes, I want to also add to my composition some Christmas trees. Let's do a couple of them. We will use the green paper for that. And I'm just putting it into machine, which I can also just hold in my hands. It's quite small. It's based on Lego Boost. Some other parts, but I will explain uh, more about it uh, in a while. So this is what I've got finally, happy holiday season, it even bumps out from the picture. One more thing that machine is able to do obviously is to uh, draw something on the piece of wood. Let's make the same snowflake uh, but print it on the wood. I need to put on the glasses because the laser is quite powerful and it hurts eyes. If the eyes have no protection. It will produce much more smoke from burning wood. Whew. I have fire extinguisher in my house. 
<laughs> Some magic happens here. Here we go. Infinite capabilities from one simple machine. Quite nice. You can experiment with it. I will start explaining hardware part from the power sources. Uh, the laser uses separate power source from Lego Boost Move Hub uh, because they expect different characteristics from their powers. Uh, laser uses this uh, connector and Lego Boost as you know from my previous video I use USB connector let's disconnect it now the machine itself uh, disassembles into four uh, main pieces uh, let's start by disconnecting the uh, distance color sensor and third external motor so, uh, it decomposes into carriage, into undercarriage here, and Lego Move Hub itself, and the tool part which holds the laser. In my early versions, I was experimenting not with laser, but with, with pencil. It, it is possible to put the tool part uh, which will hold the pencil instead of uh, laser. Let me detach it. Here we go. So this is the tool part. This is uh, the laser which is inside. We can look now into laser eye. And this blue finger is used to press this button. This button is the only non-lego piece uh, of the whole construction together with the laser so i had to make the machine somehow to press the uh, to, to turn laser on or off so i had to put this small button and the finger pressing the button with external motor this is external motor here which drives these gears to press and release the button. The carriage is very simple. Uh, it uses some gear racks. And these two color flags are used for centering. If you noticed uh, from demonstration, uh, software uses calibration to center the carriage uh, in the undercarriage to make sure it will not bump onto edges. And in case it will bump into edges, there are two hard stops to prevent laser from cutting Lego pieces, Lego parts and damaging anything around it. Um, the color sensor here is just attached on the side of Move Hub. The Move Hub itself is detachable from this whole construction. So you can just take it out. And this is it. This is my USB power solution for connecting it because I would run out of batteries and it's not that ecological to use so many batteries. And this part is also able to disassemble in two parts. And those two parts hold gears and connect to each other. So this is under carriage. It has some wheels just for balancing and riding forward. It has the main gear, which takes the rotation from the Lego Move Hub and gear system there and make, puts it onto carriage. We can make it like this. And rotate and it will move. Very simple solution, put here. And this side, it uses some simple 
things it's it drives the wheels and it also passes rotation from one of the two you know that lego move hub has two motors on it so it takes rotation from one of the motors and drives the wheels there's the gear system here that is used to first and those, these gear systems they are symmetrical they are quite symmetrical to each other and they use the same idea of lowering the rotation why we need to lower the rotation because we need to increase the accuracy of how we build uh, how we move to make the laser to move sharper and be able to reflect smaller details like the snowflake it requires a lot of detail so we cannot rely on motors of lego boost block which rotate quite fast we need to decrease the rotation but with the systems of gears so i have built the simple systems of gears the software part of it is based on language python and uses python library from github this one and on top of that library i have built a class called plotter which abstracts all of the logic which uh, controls the carriage reset process uh, tool down tool up so you don't have to think of motor rotations you just use simple functions like line move rectangle circle and your programs looks like this this is how you build square for example from lines so it's all very simple uh, all of the examples from my demonstration in the beginning of this video they all available here in examples directory on github examples plotter so you can access all of the uh, uh, examples that I've shown thank you for watching this was my laser carving machine and we have used it to build the Lego composition for the holiday season. Thanks for watching.